Good morning. Do you ever hear a squeaking noise coming from the filament detector? This is caused by filament rubbing against the brass insert. At first you might not hear it, but as you get closer to the center of the spool, the angle of the filament is going to get sharper and sharper and cause more problems. In the worst case, you might end up with some under extrusion. To take care of this issue, the first thing you want to do is make sure the spool holder is as near the edge as possible. The second thing that you can do is get a filament guide. Filament guides go around here or up around here near the spool and it helps guide the filament at a more gentle angle so that it has less friction when entering the detector. There are so many different guides available to download already. Some are simple, some have bearings, some rotate on multiple axes. But Gerardo Pena reached out in the comments and asked if I would make a filament guide compatible with my Z-axis shoulder piece. Can I do it? Yes. Will I do it? It's already done. Let's take a look at the assembly. So here's an old test print cover that I made. There's no holes in the old print. I'll try to upload a new file including the holes already. But if you've downloaded and already printed this, we can add the holes easily. Here is the main part. The top edge is going to line up with the bottom of this chamfer. And this side and this side will line up with the outside of these two chamfers. So I think the easiest way to do this is with a little bit of super glue. This is the one downside to super glue. And it should be okay. I can't see because of the light. I have 12 millimeter screws. 12 millimeters is plenty, I think. Next is inserting the actual guide part. So this part will be tight, snaps into place just by friction. And you can rotate it depending on how you have your spool positioned. If you have the spool on the table or off to the side, then we can take this part off and we can rotate it into a different direction. If you enjoy my content, please like and subscribe. It helps a lot. What I've done is I've made a filament guide with Bowden tube inside. So we take a piece of Bowden tube. Actually, this is just some air hose. It can work enough. We just reached 200 subscribers, so thank you to everybody who's joined. Then this piece can just slide over top. And it's a tight fit. It's actually not so bad if you put it the right way. If you have any requests, please leave a comment. I'm always interested to try something new. I think this is going to work fairly well. So this is just one option to fit with my Z-axis cover. The main purpose is to look cool, but also to stop squeaking. If there's enough interest, I could design another version, maybe with bearings. So. 
Thank you for watching and see you next time.